Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Even though I haven't switched to Firefox officially, I do use Firefox on a regular basis, daily basis. Um, I, I may switch to Firefox as a default browser, but it's not likely going to happen until Firefox 5 or so. Um, you know, I'm uh, going to be making the switch to OS 10, and in doing so, I'm likely going to just use Safari. It's fast, very fast, and seems to be compatible with just about anything I really want to access, other than crappy websites that haven't been updated since uh, 1996 and say that they're optimized for Internet Explorer 4, uh, with the use of the uh, blink or marquee tag, which I really don't uh, need in my life. Wicket uh, likes Opera. Of course, he also likes Linux. Now, I'm not saying that people who like Opera like Linux or vice versa, uh, but, you know, different strokes for uh, different folks. Or, or dogs. Some people out there like Flock, which is like Firefox. It pretty much is Firefox with the social layer on top of it. If you uh, do a lot of social networking stuff, uh, Flock, you might want to check out for the variety of platforms. I've got a top five Firefox extensions. Uh, some of these you may have heard of before. Some of them maybe not. Uh, if you haven't switched to Firefox, maybe these might uh, nudge you a little bit further. Um, I don't know. I'm just... I don't feel Firefox like I feel Safari on OS X, and I, I still don't feel Firefox on Windows. It's just, for me, it's just, it's, it's not there yet. It's coming. It's getting there. Just not, maybe soon. Maybe soon. I don't know. I'm crazy that way. The number one extension, as uh, written by Trapper, because uh, he was happy to know that I take top five lists when people email it to me, chris at perillo.com. Uh, suggest the first the first extension to add is something called IE tab. This allows you to quickly change your current Firefox window or tab to render the web pages as Internet Explorer would see it. It uses the Internet Explorer's engine. This comes in very handy when some sites require IE or when it just looks cluttered up and will look clean when rendered in IE. You can go from IE to Firefox and back with a simple click. Uh, the I have installed the IE tab extension and indeed it works as advertised. And well, it's free. I mean, there really is no advertising for it. I'm advertising it now. Number two, FasterFox. FasterFox pretty much describes itself. It makes Firefox faster. There are a number of ways you can do this in general, as I have done, but downloading this extension makes it even faster. I was surprised the first time I tried loading heavy content sites like YouTube, it generally seemed faster than without Firefox without faster Fox, on Firefox, I should say. Now, this will obviously differ with different PCs, connection speeds, etc., but it's a great add-on. It also gives you the option of customizing it to your liking. I've also used faster Fox, and yes, it does work as quote-unquote advertised. Number three, Firefox Companion for eBay. Now, not only can you see your items you're watching and bidding on from a handy little sidebar, but keep track of how much time is left on every item, notifying you of messages and alerts when time is running out. It's for the eBay obsessed, or for the person who occasionally logs on and is looking for deals. Number four, Speed Dial. This nifty extension gives you the ability to set nine websites to be easily accessed via a pull-down toolbar or a very cool nine-box display, which not only shows you the websites, but allows you to refresh the pages without actually visiting them, letting you know if your favorite site has been updated or what content is new. Number five, Flash Block. If you've ever been on the internet, especially heavily ad-supported websites, you probably know and are sick and tired of annoying flash ads for everything from new movies to free ringtones. Flash Block simply turns off all the flash you see on a website and replaces it with a play button, allowing you to view flash content at your will. It can become annoying for websites like YouTube, but can allow flash on websites and will remember the website for future views. Also, putting in a helpful toolbar can let the user quickly turn on or off this feature if you feel the need to. Those are... Thomas's or Trapper's top five Firefox extensions. Uh, now, oddly enough, I got another top five list. Uh, well, it looks like a day later uh, from Nick, and uh, Nick has got <laughs> top five Firefox extensions without knowing that uh, uh, Trapper had already submitted them. He lists IE Tab. Uh, he also lists Faster Fox, but he has three more on top of it. Uh, Minimize to Tray. So you can minimize the Firefox browser to the system tray, I'd assume. Google Toolbar for Firefox. Yeah, I'd recommend that one as well. And uh, Foxy Tunes 
This extension is a must for those of us who are always browsing the web and listening to or watching something. Adds a media, media player controller to the status bar of the browser control the most popular media applications such as Windows Media Player, iTunes, and Winamp. Wow. That's kind of neat. You need to learn something new every day, you know, and, and I know there are so many other Firefox extensions out there uh, that uh, will allow you to customize your entire browser experience. Uh, I'd just be careful. Uh, Firefox itself is pretty slim. It's lightweight, but, you know, the more you add on top of it, the more bloated it gets. Um, there's only a few, I believe, crucial plugins um, including uh, tab better tab management through the extensions or plugins um, you know e each one depends on which one you like better but you just have to be careful about how many you add on because over time you can end up you know compromising the stability of Firefox and the speed of, of Firefox overall I mean it's code and if it wasn't designed for it built into it um, it may not work as as best as if it wasn't you know working with it I think that made some sense. Any old way, I guess I have Firefox on the brain. If you have any other Firefox tips or, or possibly your favorite Firefox extensions that nobody knows about, right? Nobody. Like, so obscure. Maybe you've even developed your own Firefox extension. I'd be interested in, in hearing about it. It'd be kind of neat for someone to build a Firefox extension with the live video and then the chat room, you know, next to it. So you can browse the web and be in the chat room and watch the video at the same time. Then we could all like browse the same web pages and chat and look at what's, you know, I know, stupid idea. Yeah, I'm just full of stupid ideas. So if you've got better ideas, my email address is chris at perillo.com. And of course, you're also welcome to join us in our chat room uh, where we're typically talking about tech, software, hardware, internet, tips, tricks, tweaks, news. Uh, a lot of people love talking about gaming for some reason. I, I don't know why. Chatzilla, yeah, that's a chat extension. That's right, I forgot about that. That that handles IRC, which is our chat room. The people in chat, they're chatting through the, the IRC channel uh, that we have on the Wild Ride network. Uh, currently, how many people are in chat right now? I don't know if anybody can get me a listing. I think it's right around 300, probably just shy of that. Uh, 298, that was pretty close. Because we have, I can tell, because we have 341 people who are watching this video live. 341 people are watching this video as it happens. This is all happening live, and it happens all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, sometimes with my dog Wicket, sometimes with my dog Pixie, sometimes without them. You just never know what's going to happen, and even if I'm not here, uh, there are plenty of people in the chat room who certainly are, uh, and you know, sometimes we have people coming in on Ventrilo talking as if, uh, you know, coming from beyond. They're actually through my my laptop coming out of their sp the speakers <laughs> they're not really here but you can be here virtually and participating in this whatever you want to call it the Perillo experience sounds so bad anyway you can join us anytime day or night 24 hours a day 7 days a week at live.perillo.com gonna do this? Okay. we'll see you later